This is Brandon Bias from ChickyChicket.com and welcome to a Photoshop Intermediate Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make your text look like it's on fire. So obviously, start up your new document. It doesn't really matter what the dimensions are, just make them something simple like 720 by 480. And once you have that up, zoom in to however much you need in order to see what the heck you're doing. And if your foreground and background color aren't already black and white, just set them to black and white by hitting D, because that's the default. And if your background has this little lock on it, just give it a little double click and hit OK, and that'll get rid of that so your background is not locked anymore. All right, first thing we want to do is fill up this layer with black. To do that, we'll hit Alt Backspace because our foreground color is black, and, you know, that's what that shortcut does for you. So swap your text tool with the letter T and type the word fire, except I can't really see it because it needs to be white. Check mark, hit the letter V to go to our move tool and position it how we'd like it. Okay, we got our word fire. So the next thing we want to do is duplicate it by dragging the layer down to the create a new layer icon and that'll duplicate it for us. Then if you swap to your text tool again, double click the word fire and select it, go up here and change the color to black, hit OK, check mark it again, swap back to our move tool and just for the fun of it. And so we should have our two fire layers, one should be white and one should be black. What we want to do is make sure that our black fire layer is turned off and then go to our white one, hold the control button, and click our background black layer, and do control E so that it's all one layer. And if you move that around, you can see that our fire and our black background are the same layer. Then control Z to undo that so everything's nice and easy to look at. So we want something to work with that we can get the little flames coming off of our word fire here. And to get what we want, we're going to go to Image, Image Rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. And then if you go to Filter, you want to go to Stylize, Wind. Make sure it's from the left. And then give the Wind method a couple of clicks to swap up the wind. And then hit OK. And then you see that we've got this wind effect going along our word fire. But we want this to be longer, so if you do Control F, that'll make the wind longer. And then do Control F again, and that will give it a nice length that we can work with. So we want to rotate this back the way it was, so go to Image, Image Rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise. And everything should be back to normal. The next thing we need to take care of is to make these lines a little bit blurry. So we'll go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we'll make sure our radius is set to 1.0 pixels, and hit OK, and that blurred our lines just the right amount for us. So now that we've got our blurred lines on our word Fire, we want to do Control u and that will bring up our hue and saturation, and we want to colorize these lines. And if you put up the saturation all the way to 100, and change the hue to something like 38, that will make these into a nice orange kind of color. Hit OK. Duplicate this like we did before by dragging it down to the Create a New Layer icon, and that will make a copy of this layer. If you do Control U again to bring up the hue and saturation, colorize it, bring up the saturation to 100, but leave it at 0, and that will make this a red color instead of orange, We'll hit OK, and with the red fire layer selected, we want to make the blend mode color dodge. And if you see, that will make it a combination of our red and orange layers. But this is a little bit too intense for what we want, so we'll lower the opacity right here down to about 75. And you don't see too big of a difference, but at least that way it doesn't look overpowered. The next step you need to take is to select these two layers by control clicking the layer below it, 
And when those two layers are selected, we're going to merge them together with Control E. And now that they're combined, we can mess with this so that it's wavy fire instead of straight fire. So to do that, we're going to go to Filter, Liquify, or Shift Control X for those of you that like your shortcuts. And then you'll get this neat little liquify panel here. You want to make sure that your brush pressure is down to something like 70 and that your density is down to 50 and then your brush size may be down to something like 18 depending on how big your word fire is. And then if you swap to your zoom tool or if you hit the letter Z to swap to it, you can click and zoom and then hold space and click and drag to reposition it and then go to your forward warp tool or hit the letter W and then just start clicking and dragging and making wavy motions and you can get that fire effect that everyone is oh so familiar with and it doesn't really take too much time at least not for me anyway maybe for you it'll take a little more time but I'm used to this and I already know the proper way of making it nice and wavy and how it should look. And almost done. And in here you can w make it a little wavy here and there if you so choose. Don't really have to. And that should be good enough right there. Maybe a little more on that. And when you're done making your fire all wavy like that, you can hit OK.